here's a sign that, a sight rather, that under normal circumstances might have you scratching your head, maybe it have you keeping your distance. Sister Margaret Ann, AKA the chainsaw wielding nun, has taken social media by storm. The Miami area resident is at the front lines of the cleanup effort post Irma. She was spotted by an off-duty officer who posted this video online. Now, the police call the sisters' work another example of Miami citizens working together after the hurricane. And joining me live from Miami is Sister Margaret Ann. She's principal of Archbishop Coleman F. Carroll High School. Welcome to the program, Sister Margaret Ann. How are you doing today? We're doing really well. We've got about 100 people here helping us clean up today at the school, so... We're doing what we can to try to get the recovery and get the school back open. You know, I think maybe it was the juxtaposition of seeing somebody in a, you know, a, a nun's habit uh, and then, of course, wielding a chainsaw that took people by surprise. What do you make of this video going viral like this? It's very surprising to me because I've, I had no idea. I, I was just trying to help clear the road and do what I could. Um, but I think people are surprised because they have the wrong conception of what sisters are, what we do, you know, and then also they were just su surprised to see that somebody in a full habit knows how to use a chainsaw. And I, I think it's, and also too, I think people are looking for signs of hope and seeing a sister out there working and helping using a chainsaw like that, it probably just took people by surprise. Lead me to the decision making. You, you, decided I'm going to pick up a chainsaw and I'm going to get this tree out of the way? The sisters and I were here at the high school during the hurricane because it's safer here. And then after the hurricane Monday morning, we were trying to get back to the convent. And it's a, only about 500 yards from the school to the convent. But the street was totally blocked. And as I was walking through in amidst the trees, I saw a car go up on the mud and almost run into a concrete wall. So I said, no way. I turned right back around, went to the school, got the chainsaw, and just trying to clear enough trees uh, to let the traffic come through. So I was out there for about three hours. It was probably uh, 150 yards worth of trees and road that needed to be cleared so that people could move and go both ways on the, on the street. And Sister Margaret Ann, I'm, I don't want to sound surprised or, or make it seem naive, but you knew how to use a chainsaw? Just a little bit. Uh, we uh, were using it out here earlier, la well, last year, to clean some brush off of the, the campus. The parents and dads were actually using it, and I was watching them. So, and then I used it a little bit. And then when I saw the need, I uh, caught the chainsaw out, but then I had to Google it to see how to start a chainsaw. <laughs> Google yeah. is great, isn't it? I mean, I've learned so much. <laughs> well, the, the students tell me, sister, if you need to know how to do something, just Google it. So that's what I did, you know. Are you still out there with the chainsaw, or have you, have you are you no, done our, with that? Well, our chainsaws, both of them, they, uh, the blades are totally worn out, so they don't work. And... Uh, now we've got about 100 parents here, parents, students, teachers, alumni, helping us clean, clear up. So, and they told me, sister, it's our turn now. So I'm not using the chainsaw so much right now. You know, it's kind of like pay it forward. Somebody sees somebody else doing a, you know, a good act and they want to follow suit. Let me ask you about a comment you made earlier that you know, people perhaps saw it as a sign of hope. Is that, how do I phrase this, sometimes in, in turmoil and tribulation, it brings out the worst in people. At other times, it brings out the best in people. What are you seeing? I'm seeing right now that it's really bringing out the best of people. And people are, it's, a cross can either make you bitter or make you better. And this is making, at least our area here from what I'm seeing and the comments that we're getting in on our school website, if people are really coming together and are grateful to see that somebody is out there helping out and especially a sister because i think they have a misconception maybe of what sisters are who what we're about and we don't just sit in the church and pray all the time we pray and our prayer gives us strength and that's our identity our relationship with with god but then that strength and what we gain from our prayer is what we use to help out in the world and it's nothing that sits and is stagnant it's something that gives and gives joyfully 
Sister, I'm sure people are referring to you as the rock star nun, and you're getting high fives left, right, and center. I want to thank you for taking the time to share your story. Thank you. God bless. Okay, you too. Sister Margaret Ann in Miami, Florida.